Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversation. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So what I have here are your January mid-month check-ins, yes? January 2019. So because I was working on the six month forecasts for 2019 and I was wanted to get those out before the 1st of January, I wasn't able to do full January readings for the collective. So I am bringing you guys a mid month check in. Uh, this is going to be a normal um, general freestyle reading, uh, just like always. I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot and I am using the Unicorn Oracle. Yeah. Um, and so this is just this general normal reading. We are going to be looking at what's going on currently around you since we already in the are already are in the month of January. We're going to be looking at what's currently going on around you and then what could be coming up down the line at the end of the month. So we're looking at for that. We're, we're, uh, we're looking at this from around the 15th to the 31st. Yeah. I want to want to wish a special happy birthday to all the Capricorns out there. Very happy birthday to you. We are smack dab in the middle of Capricorn season. I hope you guys are having a great birthday. I hope everybody had a great holiday. We are out of the holiday season now, so we might be going through that, you know, post-holiday funk, uh, the uh, seasonal depression maybe, but I hope everyone's doing well. Um, if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me. These are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. The energies are fluid. They could go either way. We could either be talking about you personally, or we could be talking about uh, someone that you're connecting with. Cross watchers, you know, it, take, what it, take it as it resonates. Also, everybody, just take it as it resonates. And again, if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me, and I can get that set up for you. Yeah, I believe that's it. Ooh, um, good news. I am back at Om Shanti Bookshop here in, in the East Village of New York City. It is on East 14th Street. That is between 3rd and 4th. No, I'm sorry. That's between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. There it is. Um, but I'm going to be there Fridays now from 11 to 5 p.m. So go ahead and uh, you can give them a call. The email address, I'm sorry, the website is in the description box below. So you can go there, get their phone number, give them a call if you would like to... Uh, uh, book a reading in advance that can happen yeah and actually you know that way you don't have to potentially wait if someone else got in before you yes okay I think that's it so without further ado we're gonna get straight to it yes <laughs> hi there Scorpio welcome to your reading for mid-January 2019 thank you so much for tuning in let's get straight into it guys hi spirit Please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good for all involved for mid-January 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Scorpio, I feel like you are kind of standoffish at the moment. Um, I, 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 after, you know, how crazy 2018 was, it was really, it was really intense for all of us. Um, but I think Scorpio really got a good wallop, <laughs> um, this past year. And I'm not trying to like laugh at you. I'm kind of like chuckling with you, but I'm trying to make light of the situation. But, um, right now, currently I feel like you're kind of. Yeah, you're standoffish. You're just kind of like standing in the sidelines, standing on the sidelines, probably giving, you know, the side eye to, to anyone who like looks at you funny or approaches you. You're just kind of like, you're, you're almost like, you're like, what, what do you want? What do you want from me? Like, what now, universe? What now? What are you throwing at me now? What do I need to defend myself from now? <laughs> um, but it's okay. You don't have to do that. You really don't. Um... Although I feel like for some of you that are that are feeling that way, I feel like you haven't quite learned the lessons of what you needed to. Because it's not like any of this was tr supposed to make you feel on guard. It was just supposed to help you grow and expand and understand yourself and the world around you better, okay? All right, Scorpio. Well, I'm going to give you one more shuffle. And then we'll get started. All 
Alrighty. Boop. All right, Scorpio, let's see what we've got for you. Overall energy is the Three of Wands. Okay. So for the Three of Wands, I really feel like you guys, well, definitely you're, you're waiting for ships to come in. And what this is, I honestly feel like many of you are like waiting for the results of all of this, this turmoil that you had to go through over the past year. Like, when am I going to see the, the, the fruits of my labor, you know, the, the, the payback for all my effort? It's coming. Don't worry. You have the Ace of Swords, the Moon and the lovers okay so um there could be someone in your life it could be a gemini potentially or maybe another air sign um it also could be a pisces but there's someone in your life i don't who is i who i'm not sure is who they who they say they are or who you may think they are or you know just who they seem and i feel like there's some sort of realization that's going to happen or that has already happened i feel like you're in the midst of this realization and i also feel like this realization happened last year okay uh sometime last year and now like you're you're really you've been you've been on guard in an attempt to come to terms with it I really do feel like the truth has been revealed about something or someone here with the moon and the ace of swords. Okay. Um, it, it doesn't have to, but it also could be, it could be anything. It doesn't have to be with someone. Um, I am seeing for some of you, it is a romantic relationship because of the lovers here. Uh, um, but ultimately I feel like there was a, there was an aha moment. There was, um, a truthful moment. Now, this could have also, this could have been, you know, truth that you understood, started to understand about yourself. Something that you might have been hiding from yourself for quite some time with the energies of the moon here. Something that you may not have really wanted to face. Uh, but I, we're all in this position of where we can't really hide from ourselves anymore. And so now you're facing it. You're being forced to face it. Okay, sorry, I want to adjust my light here gonna work I guess so that's fine okay <laughs> um, but you're in this energy of needing to face it or being forced to face it in some cases and uh, that is causing you to choose or you had to make a decision between vice or virtue this could be also be the balance of masculine and feminine coming together within on a greater on a deep divine spiritual level but ultimately, throughout all of that, you know, you have this energy that you've invested into something and now you're waiting for the return on that investment, all right? So let's get into the first row. The first row is gonna be the current energies for you. The second row is going to be the energies for the end of the month, yes? First set of surrounding energies in your current situation. You've got the Seven of Swords. Deception. Trying to get away with something. But for some of you, I feel like that this was trying to get away with something with yourself in deceiving yourself. Seven of Swords is coupled with, woo-wee, the Three of Swords. So check it out. Someone around you is not who they seem. Or, Scorpio, you may, may be that person around someone who is not what they seem. Uh, and I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say anything specific. Okay. I'm just going to say someone is, someone's heart is about to get broken or is being broken or uh, being broken currently continuously through someone's actions. Or this is something that happened in the past that you realized that you came to understand. Uh, seven of swords and the three of swords is kind of like one of the worst combinations. When it comes to like love situations or anything really it doesn't have to be love though it can be any sort of relationship it could even be the relationship with yourself but deception is heartbreaking trying to get over on someone trying to get over uh, trying to get away with something is going is is heartbreaking all right this could be you scorpio or it could be someone else around you second set of surrounding energies you've got the six of cups it's probably from a soulmate 
uh, this also may be something that happened in the past, okay? Uh, being nostalgic about it, you may also, you may even be uh, nostalgic about the past in this relationship, about how maybe it was much better back then. You're reminiscing about, uh, reminiscing back onto those times and thinking, why can't it be like this now? But uh, honestly, whoever it is that is around you that's creating this heartbreak, Whoever, whichever part of the situation or the party, uh, uh, whoever, whomever in this situation is creating this heartbreak is not who they seem. So it's never going to be back in that, at that place because that person is just, is not that, is, they are not that person, basically. Deception, lies. I mean, we have the moon, we have the seven of swords, we have the three of swords. But with all of that said, we have the ace of swords. So either you have come to this realization or you are about to. Something is going to be revealed. About, potentially about something that you've been investing in. Thinking that you were investing in, in one thing, but now it's turning, uh, starting or learning, starting to find out or about to find out that it's not what you thought. Bait and switch. Typical, like straight up bait and switch. Classic. Six of uh, cups is coupled with the king of pentacles. This could be an earth sign. Um, but I feel like this is someone that's very fixed, very rooted. I mean, you, Scorpio, are a fixed sign. Um, but this, this could be someone that's very fixed. So it, this could be you, Scorpio. It could be a Taurus. Um, it doesn't have to be either of those. But this is someone that's also very much concerned with money. Uh, physical status. Physical uh, uh, three-dimensional luxuries. Six of Cups and the King of Pentacles. This could be someone from your past. Could also be a father figure. This could be something that you learned from or something that this person learned from their father. Or a father figure, masculine energy, dominant male role model, whatever. The current challenge here for you, Scorpio. Wow, the King of Cups. So here you are. This officially is your archetype, the King of Cups. I'm hearing the challenge here is to be open and willing to receive love and also to express yourself. King of Cups is coupled with the, woo, the Seven of Wands. Could also be needing to learn how to um, uh, set better boundaries. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. For some of you, this is needing to set boundaries uh, around someone who is very, could be very narcissistic, um, emotionally uh, manipulative, or maybe even emotionally unavailable. Some of you might have a knack for uh, attracting socially, un uh, not socially, e emotionally unavailable people. And so your challenge here Interesting. Your challenge here would be to not accept situations from that. For, I don't know why, but for someone, I just picked up that there could be an earth sign or someone that is in your from your past that actually might be wanting to be there for you in the face of this deception and heartbreak that's going on. I do feel like the deception and the heartbreak is going on, is being performed by the King of Cups now. Doesn't have to be the Scorpio. Um, and there is some sort of soulmate partner here that wants to come in, represented by the King of Pentacles, very well manifested, very grounded, secure, open to commitment. That's just for some of you. The closing or the closing message, or the, even the potential outcome for this half of your reading here, you've got the wow, the King of Wands now. King of Wands is coupled with. Woo-wee! The sun. This could be the same person. This king of pentacles and this king of wands. They're well-grounded and they're stable. 
manif well manifested and um, open to commitment, but also they're very fiery and passionate. But now it also could be, um, yeah, now the, also there could be a fire sign or you might have fire in your chart. But this is a message of having confidence, uh, being sure of yourself, knowing of what it is you want in life and not being afraid to go after it. Um, this is also a message saying that, you know, you're not, you don't necessarily have to be plagued by narcissism. You don't have to be plagued by this seven of swords, three of swords energy. You can, in, fa in fact, manifest a relationship in which you're not getting the shit out of the end of the stick, right? Okay, for the end of your month here, first set of surrounding energies, you've got the five of cups. Regret, remorse, pain and sorrow, um, mourning. Okay, we really could be talking about mourning a relationship. Um, but this kind of feels like a good thing because to me it kind of feels like it's ending. Okay. Five of Cups is coupled with the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so maybe I spoke too soon. Now, it should now this feels good to me in relation to everything the Five of Cups does because that to me is like a high sign that okay, things are ending. This is good. You have the chance to now really get through this and heal and move on. But then, they, but then that comes out with the Four of Pentacles. And to me, it's, it feels like with that, you're refusing to let go. Or at least someone is refusing to let go. Even though you have this pain and heartbreak with the Five of Cups, even though you have all this deception, lies, potentially cheating, Seven of Swords, Three of Swords, the Moon. Someone is just refusing to let go. Now, this could be someone, this could be the person that, you know, the, this mentally or emotionally abusive person that's not wanting to let you go, which is a high sign of, a uh, 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 telltale sign of narcissism. But it also could be you refusing to let go of this person, refusing to let go of this situation. Uh, I feel like this is out of fear of lack of security. It also could be for familiarity purposes, like, you know, reasons like that. Uh, the second set of surrounding energies for the end of your month, you have the Ace of Wands, however. Hmm. Inspiration. And I'm hearing, you need to let go. There could be something that happens, and this could be directly related to the Ace of Swords here. All right, but there really could be, by the end of the month, you could have something, something could come through. Maybe some information could come through, maybe some information about infidelity, cheating, whatever. Um, whatever, it doesn't have to be that, but it could be. Some sort of information may come through that will inspire you to move on, to let go of this relationship, okay? Ace of Wands is coupled with the star, excellent. This is the healing that's necessary, that's needed. And there is going to be, it feels like that for some of you, if not most of you, whatever, whoever's resonating with this, there really could be, by the end of the month, there really could be some sort of aha moment. I guess maybe in, in terms of like what could happen, I don't know, maybe someone finally does something carelessly and you pick up on it, or maybe you finally get proof of something. The Ace of Swords can talk about proof but it's enough to get you moving. Ace of Wands, inspired to move in a new direction. Create something new for yourself. Or even create a sort of situation that brings healing to your life with the star, okay? Your challenge in the end of January, you've got the Page of Swords. Immature communication. This really could be you trying to discuss something with someone, potentially the narcissist, if you are connected with one, and they just become impetulant and talk around the situation or just are, are really poor communicators. Okay? And if that's the case, I feel like you've been giving them the benefit of the doubt for way too long. 
Also, the challenge could be if you were to separate from some sort of narcissistic energy, they may be stalking you, watching you, or this could be you. Even though you may have had enough energy to move away or enough of an impetus or enough knowledge, enough uh, proof or inspiration, energy, drive to move away from this person, you're probably still watching them. And that's not going to help you. That's just going to keep you in the same energy. Okay? You have to completely. So the challenge here is not watching. Not checking out their social media, not checking and talking to their friends or comment, you know, commenting acquaintances, trying to see what they're doing, what they're up with. If they're with somebody new, forget it. If they're already with somebody new, don't waste your time. Don't wait, excuse me, don't waste any more of your time, okay? Not a page of swords is coupled with the three of cups. Don't wor Don't worry about it. So like I said, don't be checking their social media. Don't be checking in with their friends or, you know, uh, common people. Don't do it. It's not going to help you. It's only going to hurt you, okay? I mean, you've been through enough already just to get to the point of leaving this person or this situation behind. You don't need to make it any worse by now trying to see. And I, I guess you could be trying to see if, well, did I make the right decision? But ultimately, I mean, this right here. Seven of Swords, Three of Swords, the Moon. Yeah, I'd say you made the right decision in letting this go. <laughs> okay? All right. The closing message or potential outcome here for you, Scorpio, for the end of the month, you've got the Hermit. Excellent. You could, could be Virgo energy. There could be Virgo in your chart. You could be dealing with a Virgo. But what I'm getting with this is... This is going to let you uh, 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 free you up. It potentially could free you up to do some real deep soul searching. Really understand yourself. And that goes for both sides of the party even, or both sides of the equation. Um, you know, the person that's been doing this shit. If this other person were to leave you, you'd probably just be left with yourself, the hermit. Now, if you're the person that's leaving, you have a chance to learn to get some, do some soul searching and do some inner healing, inner core wound healing, okay? The hermit is coupled with, ah, yes, strength. Could be Leo energy. You could have Leo in your chart. Uh, there is a good amount. There actually is a great deal of Leo energy on the board here. You have the sun, the king of wands, and, and strength. Um, the sun represents Leo. The str strength can also represent Leo. And, uh, well, the sun represents Leo in the sense that the sun is the ruler of Leo. And then the knight, I'm sorry, the king of wands represents Leo in the sense that it's the fixed fire sign, and that's Leo. Okay. But anyway, um, uh, inner strength and deep, deep core wound healing is upon you at this time, at the end of the month. And that's quite beautiful, Scorpio. All righty, let's get into your oracle message from the unicorns. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, mid-January 2019. All right, here we go, Scorpio. Best message, please, spirit. There you go. Look at that. Growth. Just one. Okay. Underneath the deck, you have passion. Do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. All right. But then also you have growth. Seek out a mentor or guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. There is definitely potential for growth here, especially with the closing message for the month and even the potential outcome for the end of the month is the hermit and strength. Okay, that's gorgeous, Scorpio. Alrighty. 
so there you have it, Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. If you would like a personal reading with me, go ahead and shoot me an email and I will get you all set up. In the meantime, I hope you guys have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of February. Yeah, take care. Bye.